Hello, everybody. Let's talk about the Fast 50 U.S. equities pairs for those of you who are new to the concept. So what are they? Well, when you subscribe to Ultimate Alpha 3.0, you're going to open up your software and you're going to see a, an empty watch list like this. So what we've created is the ability to auto load pairs into that watch list, which we're going to do right now to show you how it works. So let's do it with Yahoo data. And you can see with Ultimate Alpha 3.0, this, this occurs very quickly. So you get a message here saying they've successfully uploaded all 50 pairs and that they'll appear gray while we're pulling the background data. And when you click OK, Yahoo then pulls all the background data and sets all the parameters for all 50 of these U.S. equities pairs. And so what you can see here is you've got the group. This is what it's called. We've pulled these November 9th. It's done with Yahoo. And under the comments, you have the industry subsector from which each of these pairs was pulled. And you have a list of left symbols and right symbols, which form each of these pairs. And before we dive into these pairs, let's just briefly look at how do we select them. So and why do we call them fast? If you go to Pear Trade Finder, autoload.html, you'll see our parameters. And basically what we do is every quarter, we will update a group of 50, top 50 US equities pairs. And these ones we call Fast 50 because we're using a 50-day standard deviation stretch and ratio look back. So these are calendar days, which means just over a month and a half look back which tends to lead to faster signals, about 12-day or 15-day trade durations. Okay, And how do we create them? So why do you want to use our Fast 50? Well, we save you hundreds of hours of backtesting and time in order to find you the highest probability pairs to trade. What do we do? We pre-filter to make sure we're getting only companies that are greater than $2 billion market cap and greater than $2 million a day of average daily traded volume. We check every pair to make sure that they're fundamentally correlated. So they're in the same national market, the same sector, and usually the same industry subgroup. We test them over a three-year back test period. Uh, as I mentioned, we're using a 50-day look backs, and we do one layer entry, 2.7, plus or minus standard deviations, and one 0 0.0 standard deviation exit. So we write about 1.7 standard deviations. We have position sizes at $10,000 a leg. We include a 10%, uh, 10 basis point commissions and slippage estimate based on our average execution at interactive brokers. That's actually quite conservative. And we have a time stop on these of 40 days in trade. Then once we've done all that back testing, how do we select the pairs we like best? Well, we want them to be co-integrated, which means in our reverse co-integration column in PTF, you want to see 0.88 or higher. And then correlation, we target having 60% or more, although if they're highly co-integrated, we can tolerate a lower correlation. We want to see a minimum average profit per trade of $300 and preferably over $400. We want to have at least a 70% win rate, targeting 80% or better. We got to have commissions and slippage less than 20% of the gross profit, and wildcard pairs added. Let's talk about this for a second. Um, if we find a really, really good pair that may not meet the co-integration and correlation filters, but we think it looks great and we want to trade it, we'll throw them in as well. So that's how we select them. Now, um, what does that mean more specifically? Well, let's take an example of one of these pairs. This one, for example. And let's look at the back test that caused us to, to choose it. So here's the back test. Just give me this. This red message comes up just to let you know that this pair is sitting in watch list. So if you change any of the parameters in the back tester, you're going to need to replace it in the watch list. And here's the pair, uh, CRH, EXP. Like we said, three year back test. There were nine trades, 70% correlated, definitely co integrated. Um, it had a 12% compound annual growth rate of the capital left in this pair over those three years without being deployed anywhere else. The maximum drawdown was only 4.6%. Gross profit of 4,400. Average profit of trade of about 450. And 100% of the trades are winners. Um, here you can see the equity curve. 
each of these trades and how it worked out. Beautiful equity curve, bottom left to top right, no losers, small drawdowns. On the bottom right here, you see the ratio, the green line, and sorry, the core ratio, uh, the green line, and then the blue line is the moving average of that core ratio, a 50-day simple moving average. And this is what we use to trigger the trades based on standard deviations from this simple moving average of the core ratio. And what you'll see is this is a flat chart with lots of zero crossings, which is what we like to see. So when we see that in a back test, we say, hey, wow, that looks like a great pair. So that's the back test of the pair. And we've created over 50 of these, which have great back tests. And uh, you can see the P&L, some of them are in trade. If we organize by P&L, you can see what all the open P&Ls are as they stand today. It's about negative 600. Um, however, what you want to do is look at the results of the trading signals on this group of 50 U.S. equities pairs. And you can do that just by clicking the trading signals tab. And why don't we do this? Let's look at them over the last 12 months. So you just go in here and instead of 2023, we just put 2022 and you get every entry and exit trade for the last year on this set of pairs. So here's the fast 50, last 12 months, entries and exit. And you can see the sum was 77,000 more or less of net profit. So what I'd like to do now is just quickly take a look at what these delivered in more detail. So here's a summary. What we just saw there, about 77,000 in net profit. There were 162 closed trades. The average profit of trade was $476, 150 winners, 12 losers, 93% win rate. The biggest win was over two grand. The biggest loss was about 400. Average win was over 500. Average loss was only about 150. It was a 3.4x reward risk. And the average trade lasted about 16 days. What I would draw your attention to is let's look at how these would have worked out on an annual and monthly return basis. What would you have needed to have in your account in order to trade at $10,000 a leg? Um, these these uh, fast 50 U.S. equities pairs for the last 12 months. Well, there was an average of 14 trades outstanding. So let's add a 25% headroom to that and say you need to have the ability to hold 18 trades open. Your exposure per trade is 20,000. That's 10 grand a leg. That means your nominal account exposure is 360,000. But if you're trading CFDs, five to one CFD leverage, you only need 72,000 of equity in your account. Let's add some headroom to that, even though we've added headroom up here to be conservative and say you had an $86,400 account. Well, your $86,400 account generated this in net profits. You gotta take out the interest on the margin which you can see the calculations here, that's at 6.83%, which is the latest and highest rate. It would have been less over the last 12 months. And that gives you a total net profit after margin of 66,658. That imputes to over 77% a year and about 4.95% 4, 4 a month. And again, this is on LTM backtest. The S&P 500 over the same period returned 18.7%, pretty acceptable. And, uh, and that includes all dividends, and that was about 1.4% a month. But what you can see is the alpha gen from trading these fast 50 was over 3.5% a month, and you ended the year with a 77% annual return. So that's what we consider to be very attractive. And that's how we create the fast 50 U.S. equities pairs, how you load them into Ultimate Alpha 3.0, how they've performed over the last 12 months, and the fact is these will now sit and call trade signals immediately once you open UA3 and load them up for you to study and trade.